Now in this event, we have some A relays, B relays. Each team ranks their own relay team. Then the team, the group wow. swims together. I mean, Neri has a D. Mm -hmm. It's impressive having that many boys on your team. I saw a little movement down there in lane mm -hmm. one. So. So McMary has three teams in this in this race. McMinnville has two, and then South Salem and Forest Grove each with one. And as we're coming in for the end of the first swim, it looks like so McNary's B team is in lead, along followed closely by McNary's C D team. Oh, well, I take that back. And looking down there, D team passed them up. Oh, they did combine, so our stuff our, is a little apologies. messed up. So, so we have McMinnville. We're going to have to go by Caps now. Followed by closely by West, West Salem. Salem. And I think then Forest, Forest Grove. Grove. South Salem. West Albany. Sprague. Oh, McMinnville, this is tight. And They're coming into their anchor swimmers. And look at this. We're going to have between West Salem and Min and We've Minville. Got a race of folks has the, the now this should be their strongest swimmer right here. And they're neck and neck and arm in arm as they go down. Is that Andrew? Yeah, I think that's Andrew uh, Kaufman in Andrew there in West, for West Salem, which is very unique having a distance swimmer who can sprint like this. All right, and here Looks we like are West coming Salem. into the wall. Yeah, West Salem took it for the 130-14. Five, right, great, great job, West Salem. When they combine heats, and, both <laughs> and we don't have a heat sheet that follows their combining, it's a little challenging. And both West Salem and McMinnville have uh, beat the automatic qualifying time of 132.09, so congratulations. So if you look at this finish here, and I was saying earlier, when I realized it was Andrew Kaufman, usually you don't have a distance swimmer who can do the sprint as well. Uh, but look at him. He, he pulled it off. He gained. He's given Micah a run for his money. Oh, yeah. 